we are extremely delighted to have Professor Kulan Banerjee with us today. Uh, sir, uh, you are an algebraic geometer. So would you please uh, tell us about the exact area of research? So my area of research is in uh, algebraic cycles and I do research on zero cycles on algebraic varieties. Uh, you have, uh, for example, a surface uh, inside the three space and you take some points and then you take some kind of combination of these points and then uh, how to study this geometric properties of the surface in terms of this studying this different configurations of this combinations of points. So that is what I study and uh, there are certain problems related to this and I study those problems. Okay, so uh, you have also worked on block conjecture. Would you please tell us something about this block conjecture and your contribution in that direction? Basically the block conjecture, it says that if you have a surface, um, for example in R3 or in C3, and if the surface is nice enough, that is it does not have any uh, holomorphic form, it means that the surface is some kind of so smooth surface and it does not have much of uh, a form. A form means that it is uh, in the tangent space, you don't have much obstructions. Then uh, on that surface, this configuration of this points are very nice in the sense that uh, any, any two points can be joined by a line. So this is a very deep conjecture and uh, it was conjectured like 50 years ago by Spencer Block. I mean, my contribution in this direction is that I have been able to prove, which has been recently published in Indagations Mathematica, that uh, if you take a surface and if you take uh, involution, meaning that there is a automorphism of order two on this surface, uh, such that uh, if you take the quotient surface of this uh, surface by this involution, and the surface is uh, something like uh, another nice surface, like a rational, like a plane. So if that if that is the case, then the block conjecture holds for this surface. And it has many applications, like it has applications into other areas of arithmetic geometry and for example, number theory and other kind of things. So, I mean, block conjecture is always very much related, very close to mathematical physics, string theory and all these things. I, I hope that my research is some way helpful to this kind of research. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, insight. And uh, I really wish that uh, in the near future, you will be able to solve this block conjecture in the whole generality.